today, we will learn about profit and loss, an increase and decrease in percentage. Have you ever wondered how a shopkeeper earns his livelihood? The shopkeeper sells goods to earn for his daily needs. And where does he bring these goods from? He purchases them from big shopkeepers or from the companies that make them. The price at which an item is purchased is called the cost price of that item. We write cost price in simple form as CP. Then, the shopkeeper sells the items he purchases. The price at which an item is sold is called the selling price of that item. We write selling price in simple form as SP. Does the shopkeeper sell the item at the same price that he buys? No. Generally, any shopkeeper tries to sell an item at a price higher than the price purchased. That is, he tries to keep the selling price higher than the cost price. If the selling price is higher than the cost price, then the shopkeeper gets his cost price along with some extra money, which we call as profit. Therefore, we can say that profit is equal to selling price minus cost price. Is the selling price always greater than the cost price in every situation? Think for a while. Absolutely correct. This is not possible in every situation. For example, a shopkeeper purchased some mirrors from a company. But while transportation, glass of some mirrors get damaged. Then, in this situation, it becomes compulsory for him to sell the mirrors at a price lower than the cost price. In such a situation, he has to suffer a loss. We can say that if the selling price is lower than the cost price, then it is called a loss, which is equal to the cost price minus selling price. Let us suppose Amar purchased a photo frame for 50 rupees and sold it to his friend for 55. Lena also purchased a similar photo frame for 40 rupees and sold it to another person for 45. So tell me who gets more profit? Profit of Amar is equal to selling price minus cost price, which is equal to 55 minus 50, which is 5 rupees. Similarly, for Lena, selling price minus cost price is equal to 45 minus 40, which is again 5 rupees. Can we say that both get equal profit? Think for a while. No, we cannot say this. Because even though there is a profit of rupees 5, Amar has earned a profit of 5 on cost price of 50, whereas Lena has earned a profit of rupees 5 on cost price of 40. Since cost prices are not equal in both cases, we cannot say that both get equal profit. Then how are we going to find out who has got more profit? One way to do this is to express the profit as a percentage. We know that to represent any fraction in percentage, we multiply it by 100. Therefore, profit percentage is equal to profit by cost price into 100. So, profit percentage of Amar is equal to 5 by 50 into 100, which is equal to 10. That means, Amar has made 10% profit on the cost price. And the profit percentage of Lina is equal to 5 by 40 into 100, which is equal to 12.5. That means, Lena has made 12.5% profit on the cost price. Now tell me who earned greater profit. Think for a while. You got it correct. Since 12.5% is greater than 10%, Lena made more profit. Similarly, we can also represent loss as percentage. Suppose if Amar had sold the 50 rupee photo frame for 42 rupees, then he faces a loss of rupees 8. That means, in this situation, Amar has faced a loss of rupees 8 on cost price of 50 rupees. To represent any fraction in percentage, we multiply it by 100. Therefore, loss percentage for Amar is equal to loss by cost price into 100. Remember, that profit or loss is always obtained on cost price. So loss percentage for Amar is equal to 8 by 15 to 100, which is equal to 16. 
so he gets a 16% loss on his cost price. Similarly, if Lena has sold 40 rupee photo frame for rupees 32, then she faces a loss of rupees 8. So loss percentage of Lena is equal to 8 by 40 into 100, which is equal to 20. So Lena has faced a loss of 20% on the cost price. Now here, 20% is greater than 16%. So, Lina has faced more loss as compared to Amar. Thus, by expressing profit or loss in percentage, we can easily understand them and we can compare them correctly. Before ending this video, let's understand one more concept related to percentage. Increase or decrease of quantity can also be expressed in percentage. Let us suppose the price of petrol has increased from 60 rupees to 62 rupees. In such a situation, we can find the percentage increase as follows. Percentage increase is equal to increase by original price into 100. Here, 62 minus 60 is equal to 2 and original price is 60. Therefore, percentage increase is equal to 2 by 16 to 100 which is equal to 3 and 1 third. Similarly, suppose price of petrol has decreased from 60 to 55. Then here, the original price will be 60 and decrease is 60 minus 55 which is 5. So percentage decrease is 5 by 60 into 100 which is 8 one third. Remember that increase or decrease as percentage is always obtained on the original price. Today, we have learnt profit and loss and increase or decrease as percentage. In the next video, we will see some examples related to this.